What was your reaction when you saw people saying that this had racist um, undertones and, you know, it was How? like a call to arms, you know, it was like a call to arms in small towns. Um, it was a threatening kind of video for black people. I mean, people were putting this on like But there was, there was people of all color doing stuff in the video. That's what I don't understand. I don't know. I feel like the narrative really got switched over and became, you know, more of a racial type thing. And it's like, if that's what you got out of the song and the video, I mean, I almost kind of feel like that's on you because that wasn't our intention. That's why I love Jason Down Dean, man. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, you better go to TikTok to get your merch, to be honest. They're doing some crazy special on TikTok uh, where they're giving crazy discounts. 50% off for people who buy for the first time. 20-some percent off free shipping. They got something that they're doing that you better take advantage of because they, I'm going to get my money back. they literally giving you money. they really giving you merch for free, and they paying me back the money. So, Y'all better go to TikTok and buy your merch and run it up because it's an incredible opportunity that I don't think is going to last long. And also, if you have a TikTok channel and you want to promote the merch, you get a commission. We we pay 15% commission to anybody that promote the, the item. So do that. You make some money off of it if you like it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Aldean, uh, which was like the most viral content that we've ever had on my on my YouTube channel was Jason Aldean. Four videos hit a million views r regarding that song, Small Town. And I, me and the wife went to see Jason Aldean in concert, and God is my witness when he came out and did that song. My ears almost start bleeding because people were screaming so loud and celebrating that song. Small Town probably was the greatest song outside of Flower States, in my opinion that Jason Aldean has done. Now, some have been successful. I'm saying the ones I like the most. But it was crazy, man. He got on the stage, and he was he was firm, blunt. He said, I don't give a F what they doing. I'm never not going to sing the song. I love this country. And, I mean, it was the most patriotic thing i ever seen in my life at a concert. And uh, the, But anyway, he was finally interviewed about the whole scenario, and, and I, I think it's a, it's a tremendous interview. And I don't know how people don't like Jason Aldean more after this interview. I want y'all to watch it. Wrote a film. Stomp on the flag and light it up. Man, you think it's tough. It divided the internet. Jason Aldean's song is racist, and if you can't see that, you're part of the problem. What was your reaction when you saw people saying that this had racist um, undertones and, you know, it was how? like a call to arms, you know, it was like a call to arms in small towns. Um, it was a threatening kind of video for black people. I mean, people were putting this on. Like, but there was TikTok. there was people of all color doing stuff in the video. That's what I don't understand. You know, there was there was white people in there. There was black people. I mean, th this video did not shine light on one specific group and say that's the problem. So, and anybody that saw that in the video, then you weren't looking hard enough in the video. Is all I can tell you. Love the song. I was excited to cut it and thought it was actually a song that said something for a change, not just a. You know, here's another song for radio. Did you think, well, this might not go over well with some people, but I'm going to say it. On the second verse, it says, gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're going to round up. That I thought was going to be the biggest issue with the song was that it said gun, you know, and that, you know, will tend to get people talking sometimes about that. So, um, you know, I didn't expect it to get the kind of heat that it got. Um, and I think that was more probably because of the video more so than the actual song. Part of that heat was because of where the video was filmed in front of the Murray County Courthouse in Columbia, Tennessee, the site of a 1927 lynching of a black teen. 1927. That's all. That's almost a hundred years ago. That's like 90 something years ago. Okay. For anybody that thinks that we picked that building specifically for that reason, because, you know, there was a lynching there or whatever. Did you know that? No. But I also don't go back 100 years and check on the history of a place before we go shoot it either. It's also the, it's also the place that I go get my car tags every year. It's my county that I live in. Would you do it in that courthouse again, knowing what you know now? 
knowing what I know now, probably not, but it's also, you know, I don't think, again, I'm not going to go back a hundred years and check on the history of this building. I mean, because honestly, if you're in the South, you could probably go to any small town courthouse. You're going to be hard pressed to find one that hasn't had some sort of, you know, racial issue over the years at some point. I mean, that's just a fact. The whole idea behind the video was to show, you know, the lawlessness and the, you know, disrespect for cops and just, you know, trashing cities and burning. It's just, I'm just not cool with that. So it just, I don't know. I feel like the narrative really got switched over and became, you know, more of a racial type thing. And it's like, if that's what you got out of the song and the video, I mean, I almost kind of feel like that's on you because that wasn't our intention. And I don't know how anybody can't understand that. You know, I, I heard the song. It's funny because half of the country hear the song. I, I just think you got you got to be mentally ill to hear that song and hear negative stuff out of it. It's like you can listen to it and be like, uh, I don't like the song. It's not as good as some of the other songs. or I don't like it at all. But for you to hear racial tension and dog whistling, I mean, you are you are nut. You are nuts. If that's what you heard in that song. I don't understand why we even talking about this, to be honest. It's a great song. Nobody should be okay with people getting bludgeoned on the street um, in a small town or any town. Burning down the buildings, hating police and attacking people. Like, well, who is us accepting that? It's crazy to me, man. I got to pause. Y'all know I got to pause. They be copywriting us. You know, Aldean says the song may resonate with him more because news reports of crime and violence feel personal. He was on stage in Las yeah. Vegas when a gunman opened fire, killing 60 people at the Route 91 festival. Vegas was six years ago. Like, how have you processed that? It makes you mad. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like my pregnant wife was there. Our fans were there watching the show. All hell breaks loose and you're not prepared. You know, it's like, I got a guitar. What am I going to do? You Did know? you even know what was happening? No, yeah. not, not until a few minutes after we were off stage and stuff. But... Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I do think it makes you look at things a little different when you go through something like that. And so some some people probably don't realize or, or don't remember that Jason Aldean and his crew was was performing when the shooting happened in Las Vegas. And so when you look at the totality of the song, it was an incredible song. song. I still love it. That is my favorite country music song of all time is Small Town. And then, like, up there in the top five is Flyover State that Jason Aldean did. And when we were at the concert, my wife probably thought I was fangirling like a mug because, man, when they play Flyover States, man, I'm up out of my chair singing. And, 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 and y'all know I'm not lying because somebody sitting behind me recognized me from YouTube and we shook hands and took pictures. So they saw me. I was I was singing, boy. And, and, and no, you know I can't sing, but with everybody else yelling, nobody could hear me. I was having an incredible time. But I think Jason Aldean is a stand-up dude. I know that Candace Owens, which is one of my really good friends, she know them personally. And I haven't talked to her about them or whatever. But I, I met Jason before and his wife. And they seem like real people, like just regular people that just love America and just live in their life, man. It's crazy to me that, a, that somebody believes that it's a controversy to love America and then not want vigilante stuff to be going on in small towns or big towns. I just can't believe I'm even talking about this right now. Anyway, y'all like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Comment about what you feel about the interview. I'm out.